Welcome back to the Empire of Dirt. The bumblefuckery continues with the hydrogen batteries. The weekend last, I got with Big Clive, and I call him Clive on account of knowing his brother so well, what does reviews of whiskey. I got a pallet like a tin whistle, and you all know I quit drinking. I pretty much just go ahead and pour it straight in nowadays. But Ralphie does these very eloquent whiskey reviews, and that's Big Clive's brother. You might want to check it out. So I asked Big Clive, I didn't want to step on any. So I asked him if we could do some further testing and turns out I'm a little bit better outfitted for doing high pressure testing of the hydrogen generated from the zinc cells. These zinc batteries in the previous video, they can go one of two ways. They can react at 0.4 volts and generate hydrogen or if you connect them up in a electromechanical contrivance of some sort you can get one and a half volts out of them we don't want to do that reaction we want to do the side reaction what generates hydrogen the other reaction takes oxygen out of the air you get the magic pixies in this case we just let the magic pixies chooch on their own and they generate hydrogen it's just fucking magic we're gonna leave this little plastic hang bedang off it's gonna act as a one-way check valve is there anything other than a check valve one way of course there's a three-way check valve a logic gate hydraulic logic gate i've seen it in a movie once so we're, we're going to take this copper wrap it around the negative or the positive and then short it so punny whilst we let that chooch we're going to make a skookum version out of hydraulic fittings with a higher pressure gauge for reasons which will become readily apparent Didn't blow, but it sure sucks. Not even close to his eye eye tavel neck. Something bit me. Yeah, we gotta put some different gauges in there. And this guy with the batteries just barely come off of the peg. Here's the That's what it should look like. You see it's middle of the range. Gauges, of course, board and tube, well, any kind of gauge what relies on spring tension hooks law being what it is it's not directly proportional at the lower 20 percent of the scale generally That's a better result. Flip the gauge right around. We had it up to minus 15 inches of mercury and then it dropped down. Those tiny little hydrogen molecules leak out of the Teflon. And this guy, as my favorite shithouse poet once extolled, here I sit, broken hearted, girded and strained and only farted. Fuck all going on here. Which indicates to me that the ultimate pressure is a function of how much material we have to actually make the thing chooch. But you don't have to take my word for it. Let's dip into our gauge budget. We'll put a 60 pounder in there and a larger receptacle tip. That was surprisingly sketchy. Pucker factor there, off the charts. Had to take the thing outside. Hose full of schmoo, getting hotter and hotter and pressurized. I know how my first girlfriend felt. I, I took that outside, the hydrogen wouldn't stop and then the hose was getting stinking hot. There you have it, a hydrogen battery. Not that difficult to make and you sure get a hell of a lot of pressure out of it. That, kind of experiments got to be done outside. It just kept coming and coming. I, thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a voice.